Praise the Lord. Welcome to the session of Heavenly Keys. Today we're going to study the third section of Psalm 119, which is from verse 17 to 25. In verse 17 it says, Deal bountifully with your servant, as I may live and keep your word. It is the psalmist's greatest joy to live a godly life because he is aware of the great blessings that this life has. In verse 18, he asks that God will open his eyes so that he may behold wondrous things of God's law, showing how, though we seek him, we need God to open our eyes so that we will be able to understand what God is saying through his word. In 1 Corinthians 1 verses 18, St. Paul tells us how God's word and his plan are foolishness to unbelievers, but for us who believe in Jesus, it's the power of God. This is a call for us to pray that the Holy Spirit enters us and it opens our eyes so that we will be able to discern God's will and glorify Him. Verse 19 says, I am a sojourner on the earth. Hide not your commandments from me. The word sojourner means traveler. And so because we are sojourners on earth, we long for God's word because our actual home is heaven. We are reminded that our time on earth is nothing compared to our eternal life. This shows us that we only have a short time to show God that we truly believe in Him and love Him. The psalmist recognizes that reading the Bible and obeying God's command is good for them. He recognizes that whatever God asks him to do is for his own good and sanctification. In verse 20 it says, My soul is consumed with longing for your rules at all times. God's word is so important because he came down from heaven, our future home, to die for us and show us how to live a life pleasing to God. And this explains why to unbelievers the message of the gospel is foolishness, because to them you only have this life, so you should do whatever you want to do. But we as Christians believe that this is only a temporary home and that we will be held accountable by God for all that we have done and all that we haven't done. So the best way to please him is to obey him wholeheartedly. Now in verse 21, it says, You rebuke the insolent, accursed ones, who wander from your commandments. It's very clear from this verse that God rebukes those who choose to not obey him. And as Christians, we should try to keep God's commands, but we know that we will never be able to keep all of them all the time. And that's why Jesus came down from heaven to be the perfect example and die for our sins so that we are saved by our faith in him. Our God is gracious and compassionate and he wants us to obey him, to glorify him and because it's for our own good. Verse 22 and 23 says, Take away from me scorn and contempt for I have kept your testimonies. Even though princes sit plotting against me, your servant will meditate on your statutes. The psalmist realizes that walking in the path that God wants for him is not going to be liked by all people, yet he still obeys God by meditating on God's word. These verses show how treasured God's word was to the psalmist. He was willing to be an enemy of noble and powerful men just so that he would be pleasing in God's sight. And this is the perspective we should also embody. The final verse of this section, verse 24, says, Your testimonies are my delight. They are my counsellors. The power of testimony is shown in this verse, and in verse 22 and Revelation 12, verses 11, where it says, And they have conquered him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony, for they love not their lives even unto death. These three verses show us just how powerful testimony is. It is by the blood of Jesus and by the testimony that we have been saved from the power of sin and death. This section of the psalm is a revelation of the many things that constrain our relationship with God. And we should follow the psalmist's response and pray to God that he will protect us against a lack of understanding and wisdom, not knowing the Lord's commands, our own weaknesses and pride. We know that God has a plan for each of our lives, which is for our own good. So let's stay strong in our faith in the face of opposition and distress, because he who began a good work in you will ensure that it is completed. 
I'm Aida Titus from Kardashian Ministries. Thank you.